MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Cycle time reduction is a key factor in any manufacturing process. And here at a and they've recently cut their cycle times by over 50%, thanks to Herco. Hamid, you've been a user of Herco machines for 20 years. Yeah. Straight to the point, what do you like about them? They're much better, they're more easy to program, and they're much easy to understand everything quicker. And you can mix match the programs in it. It's easy to audit everything. And when you say mix and match programs, what do you mean? Cut, cut programs in half? or? Yeah, you can cut the program in half, plus you can mix match the NC program and the conversational program together, where you want, you can mix match everything in it. And are you doing all your programming? I can see Malcolm, we'll have a chat with yeah. you in a minute, but are you doing all your programming for parts at the control? Yeah, mostly we are, is done here. The rest, some, if it's a complicated one, if we get just a model only, no dimension, then we get from the NC. So, but the majority of stuff is just done hands-on here? Yeah, majority is done on the machine. And, and you've got many Herco machines in here, yeah. but this is the newest one. Yeah. What's the difference between this VM20i and the older machines? Oh, it's, this machine is much, much better than the old one because this one is much faster. We can run this machine at 10,000 RPM constantly and much faster feed everything and we're cutting the job time in half in this machine. You, what, so cycle times on parts that we're doing elsewhere are now 50%? Yeah, on this one, we're 50% off here on this machine. Okay, great. That's really good. Right, I'm going to catch up Malcolm. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Malcolm, so you are a fairly new user to the Herco oh, yeah, control. Yeah. What, how long did it take you roughly to sort of pick things up? It was literally a matter of days, weeks. And I was, like, within a matter of days, I was starting to do things without a matter of weeks, confident, and getting it all punched out and quickly. And when, when you're programming, are you, are, you, are you doing the same as what Hamid said, just taking drawings and being able to yes. program flats? And all, all conversational drawings. So I'd get a drawing and then sit there and put in each command that I wish to do, drawing each feature on the screen, using the graphics of the machine to show me sort of what's going on. Okay, so the simulation helps you see what you've yeah, done. Yeah, it's really, really good. Really, really good. I've and have you had experience in other controls before this, or have you come uh, out of an apprenticeship? Or? I've been an apprentice the whole time I've been here, and I've only been doing it here, but I've used the other machines as well, the older ones, and I must say this one is much more easy to use, like much, much easier to use. Did you come straight from an apprenticeship into the company? or? Uh, yeah, I actually started here as an apprentice. I did um, work experience here when I was at college and things like that. And because I did, um, I did a, a diploma in engineering before coming here, but um, I'd never actually had any experience with CNC before. So now you've had this experience, you find it very easy, and I suppose the world is your oyster, really. Yeah, I find it it's great. I find it really interesting. It's quite easy for me to get on with because I'm used to computers. I mean, being in my generation. So. And, and if someone throws a part at you, can you almost reproduce that or reverse engineer that as a result of this control? Um, I would like to say I could, depending on the part. <laughs> and talking about parts, Hamid's got a component here. I know he wants to show us. So, it, what? Tell me, has it been a saving on this yeah. from the new machine to the old? That's a, that's the job we are doing it. And normally this was doing this part only, we was doing in 14 minutes. And now we have cut down to six minutes, the machining time. Okay, so that's six that's minutes, so that's exactly. less than 50%. That, that, that's than 50, more than 50% time. Sorry, yeah, that's, yeah, uh, more I, than 50 I haven't got any qualifications in maths. That's, that's, yeah. but that's, that is that's a huge saving. Thank you very much, Amid, for yeah, your time. Thank you. And thanks, Malcolm. So Nick, you're obviously the proud owner of A&R Manufacturing. I've been down on the shop floor, met with the guys, very glowing about the Herco machines. We've got a part here that you actually do manufacture on the machines. Can you tell us a little bit about what we've got here? Yeah, um, this was a part that was, um, was needed for a, a high-end audio um, product front panel. The customer came to us and wanted a 3D machined part. Um, and we've taken it there from there with the Herco and we take this product all the way through to a finished unit, tested and shipped to our customers. And, and that leads me in really to about the company. We've been on the shop floor, as I said, we're in a completely different area of the business. This is more electronics. What do you actually do? Uh, we'll actually turnkey manufacture to uh, Pacific drawings for a customer. So a customer will come to us where we're different from other subcontract manufacturers is that we can do the turnkey off the one site. So and downstairs we've got the engineering side, um, up here we've obviously got the electronics 
and we can turn a complete product in lower volumes than what would be actually manufactured in China. And, and I'm sensing that audio, this is, a, this is quite a big part of the company, is it? Yeah, yeah, audio broadcast, um, they are the original, the original customers that we started the, customers, uh, the company from um, and have sort of enjoyed 25 years of being with those sort of people. 25 years in, what about the next 25? Um, well, I don't know if I'll see the next 25, but uh, <laughs> as, uh, yeah, no, we see growth for the business. Um, we want to we're at a three million pound turnover. We want to take the company to a six million pound turnover. Um, so that's our goals in life. And yeah, we've now got an, into a renewing cycle downstairs with the Hercos. Um, we've just invested in the 20i. Um, we will be replacing the other machines with newer machines. And they'll be from Herco. And they will be from Herco. <laughs> you, you, the guys on the shop floor have, have shown us actually some of the cycle time savings you've made on some of the parts. You maybe look at it from a, a commercial level rather than, well, I suppose cycle times is commercial because you're making parts faster. But what about the Herco factor here? Yeah, the, I was looking at, when I was looking at the reinvesting in the Hercos, I looked at our original pricing that we paid for them over the last 15 years that we've had them. And yeah, they're value for money. They have literally, I was surprised that you had a, probably about a three or four thousand pound difference in price over that time period, even down to the delivery cost. It had gone up 200 pounds. And, and I think what's really embracing is the fact that you guys absolutely love the machines as well. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's, it's good to see a machine that is old right the way up to the new generation. So obviously that's been your latest acquisition, that VM20, uh, here on the shop floor. Yeah, that's right. That's, uh, that's what we've done. And yeah, we do really... We are seeing the differences um, with that machine. Um. Good stuff. Thank you very much for your time, Nick. Okay, thank you. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.